Hey crafty peeps! Today I have some lemon DIYs for you. They're fun and happy and quick and easy. So let's get right into it. If you remember the Dollar Tree calendar that first came out that you know you could make all the amazing uh, projects out of, well that artist Jennifer uh, also sells her prints on her Etsy page which I will link below and she was so kind to send me a couple of these lemon printables um, and so here is one of them and how I decorated it. It's about an 8 by 10 well it's an 8 it's on like an eight and a half by 11 paper, I do believe, but I think it comes out to about an eight by 10. And I just used my border punch. You could also use um, the decorative scissors that you can get from Dollar Tree. Um, and then I'm just taking this Dollar Tree sign. Um, it's Halloween, of course, and I love that it's black on the back, so I didn't have to paint it or anything. So I'm just taking my double sticky tape runner and adhering it down onto the sign. And then I'm going to decide how I'm going to embellish this. So I have this chicken wire roll from Hobby Lobby. I love, I've actually used it a couple times and I feel like it barely has taken any off the roll. Um, but I do have seen now that uh, Dollar Tree is carrying some chicken wire. I've only seen it online, I haven't seen it in my stores yet. But so I'm going to go ahead and um, add this to the sign. And then I also picked up this from Dollar Tree. Um, I don't even know how you describe it. I don't want to say mesh, although it kind of has a, I don't know. I absolutely love the texture of this and the green was absolutely perfect. So then I kind of changed my mind and decided I liked the green better. Um, which one do you like better here on the side? Did you like the green or the chicken wire? Um, so I went ahead and then I just adhered this down because it doesn't have a lot of spots really to put glue. I just taped it with um, scotch tape. I still loved the chicken wire so then I decided I would actually put it along the bottom of the sign and I really think that was a, a kind of a happy accident where I brought out um, the both elements. Um, again I love texture and I just think this really upgrades this sign. Um, I just bend it around um, the bottom of the sign and again I'm just adhering it down with some more tape. Um, as you can see this back of this is getting uglier by the minute but that's okay because I am going to finish it off um, at the end of the video for this project. Now I'm kind of trying to decide which ribbon I think would look good on this. Um, I just felt, you know, I, I love lemons. I mean, ribbons. I love ribbons. I love lemon ribbons. There, I had so many cute ribbons. And in fact, I should, after this little project, I'm going to show you all the ribbons I had in my stash um, to make all these projects. So I'm just going to go with a, you know, just the plain old um, buffalo check because I really wanted to keep this kind of high end looking. And so then I also had this little yellow ribbon in my stash. Um, it was from Stampin' Up. I'm not sure if they still carry it, but it just kind of has like a little ruffly look to it. And I go ahead and I added over the um, chicken wire there. I just thought it needed a little something and that yellow just made that pop down at the bottom, don't you think? And then once I get that down, I will go ahead and just put my simple little buffalo check um, bow there in the corner. And then I'm just going to add some more of that yellow ribbon to the already holes that were already there from the sign and it's ready to hang and I am absolutely in love with the sign. As you can see, it was very easy to make and printables make for awesome projects. And here's where I take some contact paper from Dollar Tree and cover it. It's still not the prettiest, but it does finish up the back of that project. These stove burner covers from Dollar Tree, you get two of them. Uh, so cute. I had to make something out of it and so I went ahead and used the smaller one here and I found that the lemon ribbon from Dollar Tree fits around 
the outside of this perfectly and so you just have to really take your time because it is rounded um, it gets kind of a little ruffly so just really go in small sections I'll tell you right now that is too big of a section because hot glue on metal dries really fast so you have to go in small little sections so then I just felt like it still needed something. Um, it didn't quite look finished with this ribbon. And so I went into my stash and look at how amazing I found this. This is from Dollar Tree as well. Could it not be a more perfect match to the wording on this little burner cover? I was so excited. Um, I've had this now, I think I bought it around Christmas time. No, I bought it last fall actually. And so I had it wondering what the heck to do with it. And I love when I can find something in my stash that just works perfect. So again, working in small sections, I'm going to put this right around the edges and it really finishes off the lemon ribbon that went around. And again, it, and also because it's already rolled and around, it made it really easy to put down. After that, I'm just gonna take another little piece of this. I don't even know what you would call it. It kind of has like almost like a crepe papery texture I don't know but anyhow I just take that and glue it down to the back um, and you could add tape or whatever to give it that extra you know security because again when you glue down onto metal um, it doesn't always stick the best um, I just use a ton of glue but I did go back later and put some tape over it as well and then again with that little yellow ribbon from Dollar Tree I made a simple bow and glued it to the top and this project is done I don't think you'd ever know that it was a burner cover. The 99 cent store had these two products in their store. Um, these stems were 99 cents each, and then this wreath was $2.49. What a freaking good deal! <laughs> I you know, I say I wish I would have bought more, but I have to not have so much in my stash. <laughs> but it just turned out, I mean, it's already a great wreath. And I didn't want to overdo it. And so I'm just going to make it pretty dang simple. And so I'm just pulling off these little lemons. And they're pretty thick, um, or pretty sturdy lemons. So I'm just going to glue them right down into the wreath, just going around the circle. I had eight, but I ended up only using seven. Um, that's all I'm doing to the wreath. and it's hanging in my house right now and I just keep walking by it and I think gosh that looks expensive and what it cost me four dollars and fifty cents um but don't worry I do go a little more here because I have all these amazing ribbons and so um this is the the check one there that was from my bees that I got off Amazon I'm using some of the green like meshy looking ribbon from Dollar Tree. This one is also from Dollar Tree. Um, that one right there, the stripe was just in my stash. Another one from Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree killed it with their lemon ribbons this year. So I'm doing what I quote, a, I guess is called a messy bow, although I kind of just call mine a crisscross because I, I, I am kind of like, has to be patterned and whatnot. <laughs> so I'm using some of the Baker's twine from Dollar Tree and just laying my ribbons on top of it. And then that way I will be able to pinch it all together and tie it with that twine. So I'm just gonna again layer it down in patterns and pinch it together to make my bow. This really is my favorite method when I have too many cute ribbons and I wanna use them all and I can't decide. And so these are like my favorites when I have pattern ribbons too. So that way you can see the pattern, you can see the words, um, pictures, whatever might be on the ribbon. This is the kind of bow I like to make. Um, and so I didn't really wanna put this on the wreath itself because I just liked how plain the wreath and simple it is. And so I'm going to just kind of make a hanger and then put this bow at the top. And I felt like the center of my ribbon needed something and this green ribbon also from Dollar Tree matches perfect. So I'm just doing a very simple little tie your shoe bow and I will put that down in the center. And with the same green, I'm just going to loop it around uh, the wreath there and add the ribbon and then this wreath will be done.
something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. Restoring everything within. Oh, dreamy, breezy, we go. Easy, easy. On our I also want to invite you to stay tuned to the end of this video I'm going to post a little bit of a life update and so again at the end of this video um, I will be on and tell you a little bit about what's going on in my life. I got like five of these signs in my Michael's grab bags uh, after Christmas. So I'm going to make this one over. I pop off the Christmas little words there. And then I just took my um, sander, my automatic sander, automatic? I don't know what you call it. Sander uh, and sanded all the paper off. You can see that sign was regularly $20. So after I do that, I'm going to go onto my Cricut. I pull up a lemon and I'm going to use it just for sizing purposes. And so I'm going to delete the leaf. I don't need that. And so what I'm doing here is I have some wood lemons that were gifted to me, a little, and so. I was like, yes, I'm going to use those. So I measured my wood ones and then I came up with this and I kind of measured it to be a similar size. Of course, they're not gonna be like perfect, same shape lemons. But the point was I just needed um, to size it because I'm just going to use the words there. So with my um, typed in each letter, I kind of just made them big and small um, and so that they would fit inside my wood lemons. Okay, so now back to the sign. Originally I was gonna paint it and then I decided I have all this awesome fabric and whatnot. This is a piece of scrapbook paper you could use. Um, look at this awesome uh, fabric from Dollar Tree and I end up not using it on this project and sadly I didn't use it on any project so I have to find something to make with it. So I go ahead and decide that this was the best fit. It is a uh, kitchen hand towel and this I picked up at the 99 cents store. So I'm just going to uh, pull it around the sign and glue it. And then after that, you can see the little lemons off to the side. I do, I want to say they were at Dollar General last year and uh, my sister picked them up and then she didn't need them. So she gave them to me. Of course I wanted them. And so I had just um, already off camera put the vinyl down onto the lemons. Um, but you could use white stickers would be really cute too or black or just use your own handwriting and a Sharpie marker or a paint marker. Um, that actually might be easier uh, than trying to figure out the shape of a lemon on your Cricut design space, but that was actually kind of a fun little challenge. Um, I just wanted to show you there how I um, pulled the corners um, to get that look. Again, uh, just going to pull it all the way around and make it nice and tight. And then I decide that uh, my lemons, my wood lemons kind of needed something. They get a little bit lost there um, when I put them down. So I grab some leaves out of my floral stash. A lot of times I'll pop the flowers off and I have all these leaves left over. And so these are the times when that is a great little thing to do. So I just pop off um, some leaves here. I did two per lemon and just glued it to the back of the lemons. And I just think that finished um, the lemons off and kind of made them pop a little bit more and that's it for this sign it was really obviously not a lot of steps and easy to make
Dollar Tree has a lot of cute garden flags um, and this is one of them. They are pretty thin and so I've always had kind of a hard time thinking of how I could use it in a DIY. Um, but I had this picture frame from Target's Dollar Spot. It was only $5 and it turned out to fit absolutely perfect in this frame. And so I'm just going to take the frame apart here. Um, the It's not glass, it's kind of that little um, I don't know what you would call that. What do you call that? It's not even plexiglass. You know, it's just like a clear little thing and you had to peel the film off of it so that it's nice and shiny. And so I also wondered if this is gonna work with all the wrinkles that are in the flag because I didn't think with that kind of fabric that ironing it would necessarily be the best idea. I could steam it. But it turns out that as long as I tape it and do it really tightly, the wrinkles don't show. And another thing I like about this idea, um, I'm just using masking tape, is I can just pop it right out and do a different garden flag for a different holiday or just use it as a picture frame for something else because with masking tape, it peels up really easily and so you're not you know, you can use this mat again um, and again. So a, a super, super simple DIY, but this is one where I'm like, wow, surprisingly for a dollar garden flag, this looks pretty dang good. Um, I will say almost everything I used from Dollar Tree in this video was still a dollar because I bought it before everything <laughs> went up in price. I had to grab one of these cardboard uh, file folders from Dollar Tree and I just cut a square out of it. And then I had this little wood um, piece from Joann's that I got on clearance last year and I painted the front white. As you can see, I cut that cardboard out to fit perfectly in there and uh, super simple. I do recommend you going to Joann's um, after the holidays. Their wood is usually like 70% off. Um, sometimes even more and so it makes these really affordable um, I can't remember I want to say this one was six dollars normally so I probably got it for a dollar eighty so a really good deal definitely check out their wood section it's almost always 50% off anyway but again right after the holiday or whatever it's for it's usually about 70% off so taking some Dollar Tree rub-ons, um, I cut out the letters that I'm going to need, and in this case, I'm doing Hello Summer. Of course, with lemons, there's so many cute sayings you could do, um, but I just thought that one would be cute. These rub-ons from Dollar Tree, this, this particular font is one of my favorites because I love how the vowels are kind of smaller with the little line under it. I just think it makes it kind of fun and whimsical. Um, rub-ons are so easy to use. I have this little tool here, but you can literally use any flat surface, your fingernail, anything like that. Um, the hardest part for me was just picking the little plastic up off because it wanted to stick down. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to, now another thing I was going to say is you can measure it so that you know these are all going to be nice and even, but I was feeling like I was just going to wing it and eyeball it and I think I actually lined it up pretty dang good. So after I get all these rub-ons down, I feel like it's missing something. So I go and I grab my black paint pen. You can use a Sharpie, but I find that Sharpie kind of has like this shininess to it that I don't love. And so I just grab one of my acrylic um, paint pens and I just make little dashes all the way around my lemon. And I really think that is what finished it off and gave it kind of, again, that whimsical look. And this project is done. I love a good floral arrangement to add to my decor and this little vase bucket was from Dollar General for a dollar <laughs> and I filled it with some styrofoam from Dollar Tree that I cut down to size. And then I have these two stems here with yellow on them from Michaels from a grab bag so they probably cost about a nickel. And then two of these stems from Dollar Tree with the yellow sunflowers. And then two bags of these lemons from Dollar Tree as well as these straws. 
also from Dollar Tree. And they have these cute little pineapples that you can open like that, but I will be tearing those off. So I'm gonna use the straws to poke into the lemons there and use those as the stems. Um, there's already this little green piece that you can pop off the bottom of the lemon, so there's already kind of a hole started. I just kind of put my little um, exacto knife I was totally having a brain fart there in there just to kind of make that hole um, big enough now these are like a papery straw so you can't push on them too hard or they will just bend right in half and then I will take that exacto knife again and make a little hole in the styrofoam because like I said they're I, they're not strong enough for me just to punch it down in there um, and so I will do that and then I will add some of the flowers and I'm just going to go back and forth. Um, I like to kind of add one of each and then go back in and add one of each again. And that's kind of how I get it all symmetrical. And again, I don't really know a lot about floral arranging. It's just me like winging it every time I do it. But again, I just, I try to put in a little bit well, I just really try to make it symmetrical. <laughs> and so this is what it looks like when it's all done. Um, I have some of the lemons, um, some taller and some shorter down in there. And uh, this is what it looks like. Now, I didn't put anything down inside of it. You can see there the styrofoam. Um, you can put rocks in there to make it a little sturdier, uh, whatever you want. So I'm taking this lemon ribbon from Dollar Tree and then I'm also coloring this little lemon wood piece also from Dollar Tree. I just glue the bow on there, glue the wood piece into the center of that bow and that project is complete. Here's a super quick candle makeover from Dollar Tree here. Some scrapbook paper cut down. Use some double stick tape to adhere it around. Use a little bit of ribbon to go from the top of the paper to the candle. Again, coloring one of those little lemon pieces from Dollar Tree and gluing it to the candle. And voila, quick and easy candle makeover. I've been wanting to try this candle technique that I have never done. So what you do is you take tissue paper or a napkin and you want to make sure if it's a napkin it's down to one ply. I found these napkins at Dollar General and I will cut it down to size. So once you get it cut down to the size you need you're going to take a little bit of wax paper and also wrap that around the, cal the candle, I almost say calendar, candle, and then using a uh, heat some sort of heat source. Um, I'm using my heat tool gun here. Um, you just heat it up and that wax melts onto the napkin, which then melts onto the candle, making it adhere all around. So funny story, I am trying this new technique out on the project previously, that candle, and I'm just thinking, why in the world is this not working? It should be so easy. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I'm being such a dummy because that candle was in glass. And so it doesn't work on glass. It has to be on the candle itself. And so then I'm just taking some of the Baker's Twine from Dollar Tree and I just wrap it around a few times. And I love how this sign from Dollar Tree looks like a weathered fence board. Um, and so I don't want to paint over it because I like that look. So I'm popping off that spring there. And then I'm going to use another one of those uh, printables from Jennifer and put it down onto the sign. As you'll notice, you still see some words and images come through. So what I'm going to do is take these... Uh, straws here, paper straws I picked up from 99 cent store, and I'm just gonna glue them down, five on the top, five on the bottom. It covers the wood. Uh, I think it looks so cute and different. And look how quick and easy it was to make that sign. Another set of printables from Jennifer. Um, here you have four by six and four by four. I'm gonna go ahead and use this sign from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna flip it over. And here is an alternative to painting. I kind of get sick of painting backgrounds. It's messy, you know, you gotta clean it up. 
So I like using paper um, and so then I also decided I'm going to try using some of this Dollar Tree vinyl. The green was a, a great color and I already used a lot of this for a Christmas sign and this is what's left over. Um, I just show you there you could use buffalo check as well or some contact paper um, but I went ahead and chose to do um, the screen. I kind of pull my um, images there and I'm kind of setting them down on the different surfaces to see which one I liked the best and I really felt like they popped the most on the green. So this is really easy to put down onto the sign. Um, I just make sure that I have a nice and perfect line to start with and then I just you know, smooth it down over the sign. Now I do not cut it to exact measurements because I know I will get a much better coverage by doing it this way. So I will line it up from top edge to top of the vinyl and then I will slowly pull back um, the paper from the back side while smoothing it down. And this went down like butter. It I didn't have any wrinkles or any problems and you know Dollar Tree vinyl is a little bit on the flimsier side but this still it worked really well. Now I'm using my wallpaper tool. Um, I just put wallpaper up in my bathroom. I have never put wallpaper up before and it's actually not that hard. Look at this tool. I want to say it's like a two dollar tool from Lowe's and it, it really works good with vinyl and Cricut projects so you know, don't buy the expensive Cricut one, just go get one of these for $2. But you can see how it just, I'm just, this is real time, I didn't speed it up um, or anything, and look at how easy it just smooths down and makes a really easy background that you didn't have to get paint out um, or splotchy or whatever. So once I get this down, you can see I'm taking my time, I will put my cutting mat down and just trim the sides, uh, the excess off with my X-Acto knife. Okay, so now I'm just going to arrange them here how I like. Um, so you're going to do, well, I'm going to do tall, short, short, tall. Um, and then I will just put these down with my double stick tape. Now I've thought this ribbon worked really good for this sign, um, but it's so thick. So I couldn't just like wrap it around like I wanted. So I end up just making a simple bow with it and adding it to the bottom of the sign. I grabbed this uh, placemat from Dollar Tree. It's so fun and vibrant. And I go ahead and glue it down to a piece of poster foam board and give it a little bit of a border. And then I'm taking some of these lemons from Dollar Tree and cutting them in half. 
So now that I have that glued down onto my foam board, I'm going to take some of the lemon ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue it around the top and sides and that will kind of make our border. then I'm going to take my lemons here and I did three you could do all of them you could do one um, and then I'm just gonna glue them right down on top of the ones here and that's just giving the sign a little extra dimension I thought it was kind of fun the sign doesn't need it it's cute on its own but I just thought that was kind of a fun little extra that's it for this sign super easy to make <laughs> This is just an extra little share of these little wood pieces I got from my friend Tracy's shop. And this is what I did with them. I just colored them with my paint pens. And I just added another little item. And that is how I got these cute tear tray accessories. I wanted to do a little life update for you. Yes, I am sitting in actually my clean and organized craft room, but a little messy from uh, this last video that I made. Um, so if you're over on my Instagram, I do share a lot of personal stuff over there, but I realize not a lot of you are over on Instagram. And I kind of just wanted to give you a little life update. Um, kind of hard to talk about. I just kind of wanted you to know where I am and why I've been uploading so randomly this year. Um, I've made a lot of content, I just haven't really uh, uploaded it because it's a lot of work to edit and voiceover and all that. I don't, a lot of people don't know that. That is really the hardest part. The crafting is the easy part. So, unfortunately, um, my husband and I separated last summer and a few months later, he did pass away and it's been a very crazy, difficult type thing to process and live with and deal with. And we have a seven-year-old child together and my heart is broken for her. So on top of that, uh, while filming this lemon videos for you, um, my sister-in-law, which was his sister, uh, passed away from breast cancer. So we have had more loss than a family should ever have in a six-month span of time and um, crafting is really my therapy and so I have been able to craft I threw myself into home projects um, so my way of grieving apparently is like keep my mind busy so I redid my whole bathroom I didn't even know what I was doing I did a like real full bathroom like vanity the whole nine yards which I'll share on this channel um, I organized um, my craft room. I bought all new like drawer systems and I put those together for weeks and, and organized. Um, redid my kitchen organization, put in like these drawer things. So I've just been throwing myself into projects to kind of keep my head in a good space. <laughs> and so uh, I am ready to really get videos back up again especially being a single mom now I gotta get these videos going so I just wanted to kind of come on again just say kind of give you an update and then also just thank you for all your support um, by watching my videos you are supporting my family financially you're supporting me um, just knowing that I'm in the right place doing the right thing because like I said crafting is my therapy I love to teach um, and so it's like best of both worlds. I get to do crafts and I get to teach you and it makes me happy and it makes me happy when you're happy on things I made. I'm always open for suggestions, um, good constructive criticism. I have to say on this channel, I, it's so, 
rare that anyone says anything that's not nice. So I appreciate you for that. Um, and so that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I am going to start an Instagram account that's just for fun. Just having fun, making silly videos, um, fun things. I think that will be good for my heart too. Uh, probably put my daughter on there. She's a fun kid. And, and you're going to ask me how she's doing. She's the most mature child you will ever meet. She's an old soul. Um, she's more mature than a lot of adults <laughs> that I know. Um, I, she's incredible. So she's doing very well. Um, but again, she is processing. So who knows? I mean, she could have a meltdown. I don't know. Oh, yeah. So sorry to be have bummer information, but I just kind of, I don't know. I feel like sometimes in my videos, I want to talk about stuff, but then you may have no context of what I'm talking about. So that is it. Again, thank you so much for your support and love and this community. It's absolutely amazing. I really haven't had a bad experience in the two years that I've been on the platform of YouTube and Instagram. So, all right. I'm going to get back to crafting and bring you a lot more uh, videos and content. Again, if you have any things you're hoping you'd see from me content-wise, like maybe building a certain thing or you want to see apples or, you know, whatever it is, you're ready for fall, just let me know down in the comments.